The red sun rises. Blood has been spilled this night. It's thicker than water, you don't want it on your hands, Taylor Swift sings about the bad, and in Rambo's case, the first was probably the best. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five most fascinating things that you probably didn't know about blood. Number five, vampires are real. All right, f you, Billy Bob. F me? I'll f you, boy. I'll f you, and then I'll eat you. Okay, so they don't usually have overly sharp teeth, and they're not necessarily allergic to the sun, but they do call themselves vampires, and they do literally drink blood. Do you drink blood? Yes, I do. Aided by the advent of the internet, blood feeding communities have emerged all over the world. For most partaking in the practice, it's a clinical procedure, and not quite as painful or passionate as it is in the movies. Blood is drawn from a donor using a clinical scalpel or syringe, and then consumed by a feeder, who is often only drinking blood in the first place because it makes them feel healthier. These self-professed vampires say drinking blood helps them overcome headaches, fatigue, and severe stomach pains. Thank you. Number four, mosquitoes are fussy eaters. Plunge them down. Hmm, I'm so tired. In general, mosquitoes tend to prefer blood type O, which, annoyingly, is the most common type in most countries. Professor Jerry Butler at the University of Florida also claims that one in 10 people are especially attractive to mosquitoes deducing that mosquitoes choose who to chomp on because of the chemical and odor combinations that we exude. However, it's only the female of the species that wants anything from us at all, because they require blood to develop fertile eggs. And just in case you suffer from this specific nightmare, we'd like to put the record straight. It would take 1.2 million mosquitoes, each biting and sucking at once, to completely drain a human being of blood. Sleep well, Mojoholics. <laughs> Number three, there's way more than one type of blood. I have a very rare blood type. I'm AB positive. Really? I'm IB positive. IB positive, they ain't touching me with no needle. It's common knowledge that there are eight different blood types for humans. A, B, AB, and O, with RH negative and positive for each. However, the ABO and RH blood group systems are only two of the 35 known systems, meaning that there are over 200 other rare blood groups but that's nothing compared to other animals. Cows have at least 95 such systems, leading to over 800 possible blood types. And if you venture elsewhere in the animal kingdom, you'll find that blood isn't actually always red. Spiders, lobsters, and snails all have blue blood. Earthworms and leeches bleed green. And starfish sport a yellowish, semi-transparent liquid. That's so gross. <laughs> Number two, we're born with a cup of blood. Despite the fact that pregnant women can experience a 50% increase in their blood levels after 20 weeks of pregnancy, an average newborn baby has just 240 milliliters of the stuff in their system when they arrive. That's less than a can of Coke. By the time they're 10, that child should have around 12 times as much blood coursing through their system. The average adult should have around 20 times the stock, with between 4.7 and 5.5 liters of blood flowing through their veins, which is about 10 to 11 pints. You got three pints of Kramer in you, buddy. Number one, hearts really can break. I don't want a broken heart, and I don't want to play the broken hearted girl. It's not just an expression or the subject of a thousand and one love songs, and saying I love you again won't cure it. Broken heart syndrome is a real, medically acknowledged thing. To give its specific name, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is when the heart suddenly weakens due to an intense emotional stress, such as the death of a loved one or a breakup, which can, and often does, lead to acute heart failure. A fully functioning heart is capable of pumping blood around our bodies in under 30 seconds. If you're lucky and live to be that old, it'll pump 1.5 million barrels of blood in your lifetime. For that reason, broken heart syndrome is a serious problem. If your heart breaks, then you break. Unbreak my heart, save So have these facts left you fascinated or feeling a bit squeamish? <laughs> Until next time, try not to let your blood boil, curdle, or run cold. For more biologically necessary top 10s and severe stomach pain top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go fill my freezer with my own blood.